Good day, my friends, and welcome to episode 19 of my Crestorio playthrough. So, today is the day where we're gonna fix the big old smelter array. And our, I already took the liberty to, to fix these uh, columns like I want them to be. It's looking a little bit funky, the uh, red blinking dots here are the extensions will which will make the lane uh, the smelter array have 24 furnaces per column yeah that's what we're gonna do and today we're gonna feed that beast but also i'm gonna expand uh this little uh thingy here as well so uh these are 10 each so 11 12 Oh, we're getting attacked here. Biters are getting angry. Are these boys having enough ammo? Yeah, they do. Okay. So far, we're having enough guns to uh, keep those at bay. Oh, uh, I don't want to cram uh, these up like this. I was uh, thinking about being lazy, but no. Alright, I have to count these. So, there we go. As soon as this complex is going to be finished, I will have three, uh, 36 furnaces for copper plates, 124 iron plates, and the capacity, and, uh, 24 for steel, and the capacity to, uh, expand these as necessary so i don't know how big the demand on the copper plates and the steel will ultimately be the only thing i know is that uh it's not enough what i'm planning so far but it's gonna be easy to uh give these facilities the room to grow further if necessary so could possibly build already a fourth of these uh, copper columns, but right now I want to be happy with three of them for now. It's gonna be okay. Okay, that's this. And now let's copy those recipes. There we go. So for those who didn't don't know that it's going to it's like uh, you shift right click the recipe you want and shift left click the recipe you want to copy basic move I guess most of my the audience are already aware of that but uh, since people kindly showed me that little trick I want to share it as often as possible because I ha don't have a clue how many people are l watching the complete series or are switching in between or whatever so enjoy Let's finish these up real quick. This whole place is looking a little bit messy, but uh, as long as I can't clear out those cliffs, I don't, I don't care about messiness. It's just going to be as it is. It's functional, and that's what matters. Okay. Today I have to uh, lead those old mining arrays into the up as well. We're going to do that too. But for now, I will... Oh, let's drop down the belt array, I think. I just noticed that this one is possibly not gonna work anymore. No, he's not gonna work anymore. So I need to get this one offline and put down another one. I could deconstruct something here, but uh, honestly, it's no biggie to do it like that. But I need to... Do it like this. Okay, let's copy this one. The brick chest is going to be a thing, but I'm gonna relay it. Um, oh, screw it. <laughs> it's a little bit big, but whatever. I'm gonna need bricks anyways, in bigger amounts, so let's just uh, do a little empty... a little belt to empty this stuff. Oops, that was the wrong way. Okay. It's gonna drain this real quick. Okay, now then. We need uh, five off-going lines from the iron to feed this thing. Okay. Let's 
So I plan on doing it doing it like this. We're gonna fetch us three of those. And we're gonna lead them towards the smelter array. There we go. Around the cliff we go. Ouch, and we throw some grenados in our face. Oh, it's the life of a space engineer. You get used to that. <laughs> okay. Now then. It'll all make sense in a second, friends. So. Next step, it's going to be a yellow splitter of those. And now I'm gonna separate this uh, red belt into two arrays. And uh, if I did make any mistakes there in my uh, thought process, this will work just fine. Because a red belt is basically transporting double the amount of a uh, yellow belt, so let's just add. Okay. One for the long-handed inserters. Whoops. Got some drift from the uh, belts. Okay. This works out, right? No, it doesn't. It doesn't work out. Just thought that this was just not looking right. I'm away one square too much. Oopsie. Well, I guess I'm gonna, just gonna do it the other way around. Oh, these cliffs. I need to get rid of them so badly. <laughs> I don't like them at all. So we're just gonna do it like this. It's going to be the easier way. At least easier to align that stuff somehow. Oh, that's too long for a yellow one. Well, I can install it like this. Not in the right direction here. No, it's proper. Okay. And there we go. So now we have iron input for two columns. Yet let's get those other boys and uh, get them going. This will only work uh, for now, but I don't want to do an over excessive array of uh, belts for now. Later on I will need to uh, designate a full belt for each smelter column exclusively. The splitting off is just something I can do before I go for bigger uh, belts and bigger furnaces, but for now it's gonna work quite fine. We're gonna optimize that uh, one later. Okay, let's uh, split her off this one here. Go underground there. And let's just do it like before, uh, as before. Let's uh, get the lane from here to there. Put down the inserters later on. Oh, I'm enjoying this so much right now. This is going to be such a beauty once it's up and running. Well, it's going to be a beauty once these cliffs are gone and I can oh, and I'm able to uh, 
array those furnaces a little bit more cosmetic again, but uh, we are gonna get there. Okay, now then. Oh, and that one is. Now it's right, right, right. Nice. Okay, now I have the other one left. And we're gonna. I could have done that uh, more uh, efficiently. I'm well aware of that, but uh, I noticed it in between and I just figured out to just let it be like this. Alright. That's the input lane for that one, and uh, let's pick up the uh, input lane for this one while we're tra traveling backwards. Ha! Efficient moving, at least. And uh, open up this track over this direction. Go. Okay, and let's pick up the last uh, belt here for the column. That leaves me with one uh, um, half belt left open, and I think I'm just gonna uh, toss that into the steel production, maybe. I don't know yet. Honestly, I didn't... Uh, make a uh, calculation today about the uh, steel furnaces before the episode, so I'm just going to figure that one out. But I have the tools to make it easy. Alrighty. Now, let's pick that iron up and smuggle it over there. Okay, that's the supply of iron ore for this one. Let's uh, connect the copper ore right next. So I'm gonna get rid of these uh, thingies right away. Um, for copper, two will suffice because I only have three columns to feed for now. And I'm gonna do it right. Right, similar. Quite similar is the word I'm looking for. Sorry today. Thinking and uh, speaking is not going hand in hand today. No, I don't want to go. I don't want to waste my precious under underground belts. So there we go. Let's splitter it up here. Stupid cliff. At least I can. Yeah, at least I can do this. <laughs> okay, next up. Same thing as before. Let's fetch that along this. And oh wow, I'm really running out of yellow belts already. I didn't expect that one, honestly. I thought I had enough. Oh. I think there should be some more of them lying around in my furniture shop. Okay, I need one more. Um, whoopsie. For the copper. The thing is just I need more, uh, more uh, belts for the coals as well, so... Um, are there still belts in there? I don't know. Hmm. Whatever might be the case, I'm gonna plunder some. I'm still having so much uh, iron plates in this belt here. We're gonna be just fine. Also, I don't want to pick up other stuff. Well, some clips wouldn't be bad. I let's go. 
700 clips. Making me feel a lot safer. Possibly I want to pick up some gun turrets as well. And uh, possibly I want to pick up some inserters as well because I think... Just uh, according to these numbers that I just saw... <laughs> Possibly we're going to need that stuff in bigger amounts. Okay, 300 transport belts are not that much, but it should be enough. Alright, let's go. So, with these next few steps, I'll have at least the um, production of my iron and copper plates back online, because right now we are running dry, but it's no problem. These have still some fuel left, obviously, to work. Yeah, they're still having some colds. Nice. So this one has run ran off, uh, is offline already. But we're going to feed them with fuel just in a minute. And uh, I wanted to have a check-in on the warehouse if there are some more belts I didn't notice before. Ha, look at that. I knew I had left of the some of them in there because I don't know how to micromanage these boxes properly shame on me I have to fiddle around with, uh, off cam a little bit again got to be completely honest uh, this is something about Factorio I often don't have the patience to take myself all the time to learn all these useful wonderful shortcuts the game has to offer if I just had a little bit more patience with that I would be building a little bit more efficient, a little bit quicker and uh, painless. Uh, was painful. Okay, I'm sacrificing this one. It's okay though. A few sacrifices have to be made. Look at these iron gear wheels I have to craft to get another set of five of these thingies done. Okay. So let's uh, change this up a little bit. This is going to be way easier if I want if I'm gonna do it like this. And uh, just be a little bit more pragmatic right now. Oh, there's an attack, but ended it off. Okay. Because I don't want to wait until uh, all these underground belts are getting crafted here. Because that would be quite a pain to watch. Instead, I'm just doing this. And just remember, friends, this is just a temporary means of uh, feeding this whole array with uh, the input. Later on, we need to intensify the belt network here by a lot but it should be enough space but i don't want to uh stress out the planning too much while there are so friggin many cliffs around here it's just uh i don't know i feel like i would do work twice unnecessarily if i would uh over plan this thing too much okay next up we're gonna bring the coke for this one, I still haven't made up my mind completely how I want to see it through. Like, this stuff has such an insane burn value that I don't really know how many columns I can feed with just one yellow belt. Some question, question I can't answer myself, so... It's hard to figure that one out mathematically as well, because, uh, you know, these... Uh, I mean, I could put down some numbers. These furnaces, they use quite, uh, come on, let's, uh, let's check it out for, for the sake of explanation. One of these furnaces uh, uses 350 per second tops, so that's 0.35 uh, megajoule per second. And uh, the coke we're having is having a whopping amount of 18 megajoule per unit. They got buffed by a few uh, days ago. So that'll mean I'll just uh, roughly over go over it in my head. This makes like something about 40 to 50 seconds with one unit of coke. 
So I guess one yellow belt might sure feed a whole smelter array successfully. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to uh, designate a red belt for each smelter array exclusively. And uh, I'm going to see how it works. Like This is the best idea that I'm having how to uh, follow this through right now. Because I'm pretty sure that one yellow belt will be more than enough to feed all those uh, furnaces with fuel, but I just want to make sure it's right. So I'm gonna leave a uh, a second lane open if necessary, but I'm pretty sure it won't be necessary. Okay, let's do this. Okay, I'm gonna go in here somehow. <laughs> Some tricky operation. Well, it's only tricky because I feel like it's so hard to discern where those cliffs start and end, but uh, it's just. That's just how it is. Okay. Let's check out if my plan works. So what I want to do is uh, a system where I just squiggle one uh, snaky belt through this whole array where the uh, fuel gets uh, passed through. So let's uh, go like this. And then over there. Mm, I can do it like this. Just need one touch touching point with uh, the last furnace of the column. So anything uh, fails, I'm gonna put these under a. Uh, I'm gonna put a red belt under these. Oh, well, I think the other way around is more beautiful. I'm gonna do it like this so I can squiggle it around more narrow. Here. So it'll take a moment until all the coal, uh, un all the coal uh, seeps through this system, but uh, it will in a second. Okay. Oh no! Oh come on! Those friggin' cliffs everywhere. Okay, there we go. So if this doesn't work out uh, well, I'll just uh, put the fuel under a red belt. But I'm pretty sure this will work out. Okay, let's go. I need inserters now, and I need expansions of the output lanes as well, because this is just necessary. Uh, I'm gonna output like this, because aesthetic reasons. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna continue with the uh, inserters now. Okay. I have to drop down a few more uh, new inserters for the fuel insertion as well, because uh, the system has changed. But we have this fixed up just in a second. Speaking of fixing up things, I think there was some biter attack. Okay, I'm going to output over here. Alrighty. And that's going to be a uh, properly uh, working maximized uh, array, not a uh, um, aesthetically optimized array, just a working one. 
Okay, now I need the long-handed inserters and uh, every column now needs them. It's gonna be such a pain to include them everywhere. So here I'll need a little bit more uh, attention because I'll need to fix up the power network like completely and I forgot those dudes. Shame on me. What kind of a factory uh, builder am I? Uh, I guess it's easier to drop down all the inserters first and uh, worry about the electricity later. Because uh, it's just uh, way more complicated to switch between tasks the whole time rather than seeing the same task through the whole time. And yep, yeah, I actually overlooked these a second ago. But, uh, I can't forgive myself, this stuff looks exactly the same everywhere. Well, industry. So let's check it out. All the time I need until uh, this whole thing is uh, fully equipped, uh, the coke will be added through the end of the line as well, so it's a win-win. Okay, it's quite a beast we're having there. Feels like it doesn't stop. Like the array of furnaces never stops. Okay, just joking. Enjoying this kind of work from time to time. Especially the moment when you're done with it. Everything's up and running. It's wonderful. Okay, I need to expand this one a little bit more. And this should be... almost done. Let's drop a few electricity holes here and there where they are needed. And then this whole place will come to life. I'll drop it down here. Small one for this place. Some more over here. And we are up and running again. Wonderful. So, apart from uh, all the operations I did <laughs> up until this place, everything is now exactly functional as, bef uh, as before. The only difference is we're having now a fully functional uh, array of 120 stone furnaces outputting 37.5 iron plates per second. Well, let's get let's get to the other uh, part as well. And uh, I'm going to have an eye on the uh, fuel depletion for the next few minutes, but I'm pretty positive that everything's just going going to work out fine. And uh, since I'm having these uh, iron plates running again, I should wonder some Oh, what's going on, my friend? Why are you not working? Why are you not picking up fuel? What's wrong? Okay. For whatever reason, it looked like it was a... Okay, I don't know what happened there. Just uh, enjoyed the features of the bottleneck uh, mod again. So, a few steps I want to do before I leave this place. It's quite important. So, I'm going to pick up a few more of those. And uh, I'm going to... Craft some more of the underground belts. But I'm also going to... Uh, up all the iron ore here 
and I'm gonna toss it into the furnaces. Because um, I really want to get rid of that stuff before I leave. This warehouse here is just a makeshift array, a makeshift building that I don't want to have uh, permanently up here. So I'm um, guessing I need to uh, build up here a little bit more of a defense. There it is. Guess this uh, is not enough for now. Okay, back to the uh, copper smeltery now. So since... Yeah, this is working out just fine. I'm going to bring the other uh, coal array, a uh, coal line, um, to the copper smeltery and to the steel smeltery at the same time because I can already... Oh no, I don't want to leak like this. This is bad. I want to keep some kind of system alive and that's... Uh, outgoing lanes are always this direction for now. There's a system in my chaos, believe it or not. But this chaos now wants to go right over there. And afterwards, right over there, too. Okay. Gonna set up some permanent production for uh, the red belts quite soon as well. But I can as soon as I have these. Uh, steel smelter arrays up and running too, because uh, right now my production capacities of uh, steel are just very, very limited. Sorry guys, the sneezing cat behind me just distracted me terribly. Okay, now I will lead some fuel into this array. Okay, we're gonna... Do a similar thing as before. And snake it through this array. Or no. This is not good. So just a little uh, steps of preparation I want to uh, do right here. I want to snake it. Uh, through and start at this point so it's easier to expand later on. If I would have continued the way I just started, I would ultimately end up at a uh, point where um, I would have a lot of work to um, expand it towards the direction I want. And there are a few spots where I worked not right. That was pretty expectable. When you're doing such a makeshift operation like I did there, little mistakes are quite expectable. That's why overall uh, it's always uh, advisable to do a very uh, to do a structured and uh, tidy design because uh, tidiness shows mistakes rather quickly. That's why a lot of people like it so much, I think. Okay. Where will I go next? This one is a little bit more... Hmm. I'm just gonna do it like this. No, I can't do it like this. That's stupid. <laughs> oh, I tricked myself. So, now I'm completely uh, confused. Did I just break the line? I don't think so. No. Okay, let's get back to that. I'll need... Yeah, I know how to do it now. I just had a moment of utter confusion how to do that. Sometimes, I think that's a 
quite normal feeling when you play Factorio for a while. Especially when you hand build uh, arrays like these. It's quite easy to lose track of uh, directions you're working with. There we go. I hope it at least looked a little bit funny. Okay, now we feed up the red ones. And I really hope I have enough. Good thing I uh, picked up a few more before I left, because uh, as you can figure out... Uh, okay. We're already running dry with these. I'm really having only 20 more. So, uh, nope. I don't think... Nope. I'm having enough. Since I still want to do the steel smelters as well, <laughs> let's grab some more inserters. I wouldn't have expected to need uh, more of those as well, but there we go. More are needed. And I'm gonna expand the steel belts as well. Just noticing. I'm only having one, it's not enough. At least two of them, rather three or more, even four. Now, I need inserters. Uh, more of the red ones, though. So, I don't have enough iron plates to handcraft uh, a little bit more of them. For now. I'll just loot some iron plates and uh, craft myself some red ones while uh, building the array further. Okay. But now everything is working in in quite some orderly fashion. I'm liking it. I was uh, delaying this piece of work a little bit. I gotta admit, because uh, it is always quite a strain to uh, get everything done like that, especially when you're working without uh, automated uh, buildups with robots or something like that. But I enjoy that from time to time, because I personally am a grinder, I admit it. Okay. Let's do it like this again, because I don't like it when it looks like this. And the output and input inserters, and then this monster will spring alive. Okay, these are already set. Okay, I'm gonna do both sides at once. I'm gonna get done a little bit more. A little bit quicker. Okay. And then the whole thing here will be powered by a nice influx of raw materials. At the end of the day, I need to upgrade these things uh, again and again, like better belts and uh, better furnaces. There's still uh, not the end of the rainbow with those uh, smelters, but for now, it's quite an upgrade compared to the situation before. Okay. Oh, it's always such a satisfying feeling to power these thingies up and see them working. There we go, friends. Okay. Wonderful. So let's uh, head back to this place. Um, these need an input of 6.25 uh, iron plates per second for 10 of them. So this will be the output of... Uh, oops. How many of those do, uh, do I need to satisfy those things? Uh, 
20, is it right, 20, 20 to 10? Yeah, 20 to 10. Okay, so I'll basically can do these in an L shape intersecting to each other. That should be a quite a nice design to do that, to do. But as I'm looking at the clock here, I will uh, probably uh, not do this for this episode because uh, I like to keep them 45 minutes tops and I won't be finishing that work in five minutes possibly. So I'm gonna stock up on resources and I'm possibly gonna lay down des the design off camera and just show you what I had in mind. And yeah, it's time to roll the credits. Thanks for watching, my friends. Feel free to drop me a comment down below if you want to communicate with me about something. Apart from that, I would appreciate a thumbs up or a subscription to my channel a lot. If none of those, just let me thank you for watching my video because I appreciate that actually the most. So I hope you come back for the next episode as well when we have the steel production up and running. And I think I'm gonna expand my my production in this area a little bit more. It's, it's just raw basics here. And yeah, we're gonna see what we're gonna do next episode. So friends, take good care of yourselves, enjoy your time, and goodbye.